When computers or devices are connected to a network, they need a unique identifier called an IP address to communicate with other devices. There are two ways to assign an IP address to a computer, either through a fixed or unchanging IP address called a static IP, or through a flexible or changing IP address called a dynamic IP. Hello! In this video, we'll be discussing DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. In simpler terms, DHCP is a protocol that automatically assigns IP addresses to devices on a network, instead of requiring them to be manually set up with a fixed IP address. This helps to simplify network management and make it easier to add or remove devices from the network. Assigning a static IP address to a computer or device manually involves configuring not only the IP address, but also other essential network parameters such as the subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. This method was commonly used in the early days of networking. Now, let's talk about the overheads that system administrators may face if they don't use DHCP. The first and most obvious overhead is the time and effort required to manually configure IP addresses on each device on the network. In a large network with hundreds or thousands of devices, this can be a daunting task. Another overhead is the potential for human error. When manually configuring IP addresses, there is a higher chance of entering incorrect IP addresses or other network parameters. There is also a possibility to assign the same IP address to multiple devices, which can lead to conflicts, connectivity issues, and downtime for the network. Furthermore, if you don't use DHCP, it can be difficult to keep track of IP address usage and availability. Without an automated system to manage IP addresses, network administrators may have to manually keep track of which IP addresses are assigned to which devices. A DHCP server is responsible for assigning IP addresses, as well as other essential network parameters such as the subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. When a computer is configured to obtain an IP address automatically, it sends a broadcast request on the network, and the DHCP server responds by assigning an IP address from its pool and delivering it to the computer. In Microsoft Windows, for example, the Network Connection Properties window allows users to select the option to obtain an IP address automatically, which initiates the DHCP process. This approach eliminates the need for manual IP configuration, streamlines the network setup process, and reduces the likelihood of IP conflicts. After obtaining an IP address automatically from a DHCP server, Users can verify the assigned network settings on their computers. In Microsoft Windows, for example, one can open a command prompt and type ipconfig slash all to view the DHCP-enabled status and the assigned IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. A DHCP server assigns IP addresses to computers on a network from a designated range of IP addresses, known as a scope. A scope typically consists of a starting IP address and an ending IP address, and any computer that connects to the network can obtain an IP address from this range. For instance, the scope on a server may begin with one IP address and end with another, providing a pool of 100 available IP addresses for computers to use. The values for IP addresses, subnet masks, default gateways, and DNS servers can be customized to adjust the range of available IP addresses for computers on the network. Network administrators can increase or decrease the range based on their specific needs. When a computer obtains an IP address from a DHCP server, it is not a permanent assignment but rather a lease, which has a limited time period. The DHCP server assigns the IP address to the computer for a certain period of time, such as one day. The purpose of the lease is to ensure that the DHCP server does not run out of available IP addresses within its scope. 
The lease time can be customized. In case a computer is removed from the network, its IP address is returned to the pool of available IP addresses, and the DHCP server can assign it to another computer. To avoid IP addresses being wasted, leased IP addresses have an expiration time, and computers must request a renewal before the lease expires to keep the same IP address. This helps the DHCP server to keep track of which IP addresses are currently in use and which ones are not, ensuring that IP addresses are used efficiently. If you want a device to have a fixed IP address on your network, you can create a reservation on the DHCP server. DHCP reservation is a feature that allows network administrators to reserve a specific IP address for a device on a network. This means that whenever that device requests an IP address from the DHCP server, it will always be assigned the same IP address. The DHCP reservation feature is useful for devices that require a fixed IP address, such as servers, printers, and network devices. By reserving a specific IP address for these devices, network administrators can ensure that they always have the same IP address, which makes it easier to manage and troubleshoot these devices. To create a DHCP reservation, the network administrator must first determine the MAC address of the device that they want to reserve an IP address for. Once the MAC address has been identified, the administrator can create a reservation on the DHCP server using the DHCP server management tool. DHCP works at the application layer, layer 7, of the OSI model. DHCP uses both UDP, user datagram protocol, and BootP, bootstrap, protocols. DHCP client uses UDP port 68 to send DHCP discover packets to the DHCP server, and DHCP server uses UDP port 67 to respond with DHCP offer packets to the client. Once the client accepts the offer, DHCP server sends a DHCP ACK packet to the client on port 68 to confirm the lease. It's important to note that DHCP is primarily a software service, but it needs hardware devices to run on, which can be a Microsoft or Linux server or a router. Thank you for watching our video on DHCP. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.